Welcome to a go. Today we're headed to another state cell. The house has quite a bit of mid-century modern, so let's go. Well, we made it here to the state cell. We're first in line. Once again, we're a little over three hours early. So now it's just a waiting game. I really like that stained glass window. Just as we drove up, they pulled up another car. But for some reason, they're parked at the house next door. So I'm not sure if they're here for the sale or for what. But I have no reason to believe that they're not here for the sale. Being that they showed up right when we did. So we'll see how the day unfolds. Well, how quick things change. That car went past the house again, turned into the driveway of the house next door. But they've taken off now. So maybe they'll be back later. I really love the old mid-century houses because they had a nice mixture of different styles, not just modern. You can have like Middle Eastern looking tiles, a carved door like you'd see in old Mexico, have a stained glass, have a mixture of wood and brick, hard and soft surfaces. And let's compare it to a newly built modern house. Very simple, plain, very boring. And everything's modern. There's no mixture of any other cultures or time periods. So it's really stale. I really don't like that style at all of home. This one I do because of all the character it has and interest. Yet another update, quite a few cars that have driven by, stopped in front of the house and took off. For some reason, a lot of people see that there's an estate sale, but they never bother to see what time it starts. Today it's starting at noon, which is abnormal. It's fine for us since we didn't have to get here so early like we normally do. Smile for the camera. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming to our estate sale. Everybody, lots of stuff in the backyard. Come on here and make yourselves at home. Thank you so much. Burke, $2,600 on this set. It's Burke. I'm on a mission. If it were no, it'd be different. Look at that art. That's pretty cool. It's wrapped in fabric. Hmm. Okay. That's cool, though. Maybe. What do you think about those for 12? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. See? Maybe. Thirty dollars spent. Excuse me, ma'am. Here, my life is being a couple art books, but 
not the modernist artist that I'm into. Interesting. person end up with this much stuff? I don't know. Oh, that's kind of cool. I need that ticket. Religious books. Cable, that's cool. Oh, the snap that fuss, huh? <laughs> I can't hear you. What? Cut hey. 250, I'd pick it up. It's kind of interesting. Newer planters, but kind of cool. Four bucks each. Oh, 
I think this was Tim, but now I don't see the price on it. <laughs> the back was, unless it's on the, well, this thing comes off. Yeah, well, it's, it's on the, it. okay. Fine. And then I had a question on, on okay, this. Over there. I didn't get a chance to see if there was a price on it. I didn't even see what it was exactly. Um, Robin, did you get a price on this? Sorry, I can't price. I don't know. Oh, I don't I'm know. not sure. It could be worth a lot or nothing. I'm trying to see how it even, there. what is it? Oh, is it a curtain or what? I think it looks like a curtain. Some sort of oh door yeah yeah I'll we'll take it picked up a lot of small items but we did get that sideboard so we're very excited about that we brought all the small stuff out now we're gonna get that furniture loaded yeah we can get it outside I thought we were getting it okay yeah just put it right at the door and we'll get it from there are you sure yeah Okay, thank you. Uh huh. I want to show you the items we picked up at the sale. So let's start out with all the smalls. We have this angelfish carved out of ironwood. It's a pretty cool fish. The only thing is that the top part had been broken off and re-glued. But overall, very nice quality piece. We also picked up this ashtray, amber glass, very heavy. I see a lot of people talking about this kind of glass, saying that it's recycled glass. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case or not but it has a nice texture to it. Also picked up this George O'Keefe Museum book. Got a really good price on this. State sells, they usually price the books, the small books for a price and the large books for another price. And sometimes they do add a little bit higher prices on coffee table books, but this is just priced as a large book. So we got a good deal on it. Also picked up this super cool 80s mirror. I'm keeping this one. This, one, this one's not gonna be for sale. This Lamborghini. I love the glitter paint that they use. Almost gives it like it's in motion. I also picked up a ceramic pot. Looks like a Ganey, but it's not marked Ganey underneath. It's just marked USA and with a number on the bottom, but it is a quality piece. Got it right here, it's pretty big. Has some scuffs I need to try to clean off. I tried to use a magic eraser, but it didn't come off. So I'm gonna have to try something more abrasive to get those marks off of it. There's the bottom of it. Let's see, it says USA. I also picked up something I thought was a curtain, but it ends up being something you hang in the doorway and it has a split in the middle. So you part it and walk through the door. So it's kind of like those beaded screens, but it's fabric. You move the camera. This is a super cool piece. What I did was I bought a wood rod. I'm just gonna make it into a wall hanging. Last but not least, we're headed into the main room. Show you the credentials we picked up. This thing sideboard is by H.B. Hansen and it has beautiful grain on it. We're really excited to have this here in our store. Behind the door, it has, it has felt line drawers for all your silverware. There's plenty of space for linens or plates. So we're super excited about this piece. So that was our fun adventure for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time.